Hello, Gary Ness here, and welcome to Kane's Self Defense with Master Gary Ness. Continuing our videos in February with all basic techniques for people that are new to the cane. So, today I'm going to talk about blocks, but I'm not going to cover the regular blocks like a high block, a downward block, a diagonal block. I'm going to talk about two different ways that you should be doing blocks to help you in your training. So, when you have an attacker that's coming at you, there's two different ways he's going to swing at you. And give me a hand, going to be Mr. Bob. Now, one of them, we're going to use um, some training tools here to show you. And this is a fake wine bottle. It's made out of foam. We use this so in case someone's swinging at your head with something, we don't get hurt while we're training. So somebody may have a bottle of beer or something. They're trying to break a glass over your head. So when someone goes to swing like that, I'm going to be hitting that arm and I'm going to be moving. Now, even if he was swinging it sideways at me, I'm hitting that arm. Maybe he doesn't have a bottle. Maybe he has a wrench or it could be a knife, but now we're going to use this foam wrench here. So this is um, hard rubber and somebody may have this in there. I knew a guy that did have one of these in his car. He would use for self-defense. It's a tool. Again, he could be swinging it to my head, and I'm hitting that arm. Now, when I'm hitting the arm, I'm kind of making the arm hurt. So, it's, hopefully I hit it just hard enough where that arm hurts. He pulls back as Bob comes at me. I hit that arm, and then it allows me to do whatever I need to do because his arm pulled back because it's got some pain to it. But let's say he has, that's one thing I need to worry about. Now, let's say he has a solid object, and he's swinging the same thing with the cane. And now I'm blocking the cane, but I'm stopping the, the weapon. It could be a bat, a cane, or stick, something solid, but I'm not hurting the man. So as I block that, I need to fire real quick or try to get as far away as I can because he's fresh. He's not like this earlier where I hit his arm. He could be coming over my head with something, and same thing. I stop the weapon, but not the individual. So I need to fire fast so he doesn't get that secondary hit at me. So those are the two things you need to work on. When you're blocking the solid object, it's totally different than when you're blocking his arm. And you're also going to be a lot closer. So if he swings, grab the wrench again. When he swings the wrench and I'm blocking the arm, he's a lot closer. The king, you're a little further away. So you need to take that into consideration while you're training. And remember, there's two different distances. Uh, and again, one stopping the man for a second, getting that arm going, and one he's not feeling the thing. Now, if he was kicking at me, and I'm hitting that leg, I'm going to injure that leg a bit. And we're going to get back to this kick in a second. And, you know, that allows me to follow up with something. So those you want to practice on. Second part of this, go ahead and grab your cane. Now you got somebody a lot bigger, real strong, they got a solid, solid object, and they happen to be swinging it pretty hard. Um, go real slow over my head for a minute. I don't want to stand here and absorb this hit and take this solid blow. If he comes to my side, same thing, I don't want to stand here. He's liable to break this or push me down. So I have to do either two different things. One of them is redirecting his weapon. So if he does swing fast, I redirect it away from me and I strike. If I want to, if he swings that again, I can redirect it low and hit. He if he swings it again, I can redirect it up high and I can hit. If he's coming to the top of my head, I'm redirecting, I'm boom, and I'm striking. I'm pushing it to one way. Even though I'm redirecting, I'm still going to move. Very important. Not to stand there. Knock it out of the way. Push it. Because if there was a machete and he's swinging to this side, I don't want to just move it and then he follows up with something. So if he's coming at me and I happen to hit that blade, I want to move away and strike. Second thing is, if he's real powerful and he happens to swing and you have a hard time redirecting it, I call this riding the wave. Now, let's say he swings slowly for a minute. Again, I'm not going to stand there. And I, maybe I can't redirect it. So what I'm going to do is not absorb all of it standing there, but I'm going to gradually take it 
and I'm going to ride that energy out. I'll show you this way, then I'll show you the other way. So he swings. Uh, you can just go ahead and swing a little harder. And now I'm moving with it. Notice I didn't shove it away. So as he's coming with it, I'm moving and redirecting it. Did I crack your cane? I don't think so. No, mine's, nope, mine's good. Sounds, sounds like it's hitting hard, but nope, mine's fresh. Boom, striking. <laughs> well, I, I rotated it so it wouldn't hit that one spot. He comes again, and I'm redirecting. I'm sorry, not redirecting. I'm riding the wave because now I'm, I'm moving it and allowing it to shove me. And then I'm striking. Let's go on this side. He swings again. And I'm kind of hitting it, and I'm moving away. So what happened basically is, come through slow. As it's hitting, I'm not shoving it away. As it hits, I'm pushing slowly, but I'm pushing myself away. So I'm not absorbing all that energy. So again, you can ride the wave, or you can redirect. One more time, he comes in, redirect it away and strike, or he comes in, ride the wave and strike. So work those techniques, redirect, riding the wave, and also remember about the first one we did, blocking the stick doesn't mean you're stopping the man. He's still fresh, hit the arm, will give you, if you hit it just right, a couple of seconds to follow up with something. So I hope that helps. Practice that. If you get an opportunity, subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. And I will see everybody real soon. Have a good night.